The cost can vary quite a bit depending on what you want the food forest to look like. Um, it can look a number of ways. Um, what we've done at the YMCA is created a little more formal of a garden setting and that'll naturally cost a little more and be a little more maintenance on, on your end. But it can be a little more messy as well uh, depending on your aesthetic preferences. Um, one thing I would consider doing is uh, looking at using local and reusable and reused materials, reclaimed materials. Um, and that's what we did here at this food forest at the Y. Um, we've used a local stone product for any stone construction. Um, there was an old sidewalk that got busted up and we used the sidewalk pieces to create a patio and to create stepping stones in the garden. Um, we use a local invasive um, tree species called black locust to build things like trellises. Uh, we use local willow saplings uh, to build arbors. So anywhere you can use local materials, you can reclaim materials, that's going to cut down on cost. And then if you can you know, share plants with friends, take divisions, take cuttings, things like that, and find people around you that have similar things that you'd like and, and share plants that way, that can also help reduce costs.